Hi everyone, welcome to another ASMR journey. I'm your host, ASMR Flow. So after we unboxed and got a closer look at all the components from Tiny Epic Defenders, I thought it would be nice to play. I've tried a couple times, I've failed twice, I've yet to win, so hopefully today is our day. I've laid everything out that we need. I have our defender cards here. I have our two meeples. So I'll be playing a solo round, which means I have to play with two characters. So I've already selected the colors. We have here the artifacts that we can attach to the front and the back of our meeple. We have the threat identifier tokens. also have the Capital City and Outer Region deck. The artifacts that will come in handy later on in the game, if we are so lucky. I have our character decks, or our defender deck. The regular enemy, and our dire enemy. So the first thing that we have to do is set up our turn deck and our horde deck. I'll collect, um, I'll, I'll then pick a character, we'll select an epic foe, and then I'll set out the um, outer regions as well as the capital city. So I'm just going to pause and then we'll come back and hopefully have everything set up. Okay, so I've moved everything that we don't need right now off to the side. I'm gonna keep our artifacts deck right here, as well as the artifacts themselves. And right now we're gonna focus on the epic foe and the, our enemies. So. The first thing that we need to do is we'll select an epic foe from our deck, so just one completely at random. So let's go with this one right here. You're not going to reveal it, we're going to keep it off to the side. And then we're going to create our horde deck and our turn deck. So for that, we will need our regular enemies. So I'm just going to give that a quick shuffle. And we're going to collect, we're going to select three. So one, two, and three. We'll put the enemies over here for one minute. To this deck, we're going to add the two defender cards and two all defender cards. Simply because, again, I'm super new at this and I need all the help I can get. So we'll shuffle that. And the defender deck will be on the bottom, and the three enemy cards will be placed on top. So that creates our turn deck. So I'll keep this off to the side. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create our horde deck. So for that, 
we will select two of the dire enemies. So we'll give this a, a shuffle as well. Okay, and we will take two of these cards and we'll put the rest back in the box. To these two dire enemies, we will, I believe, select three basic enemies. So, one, two, and three. And we'll put the rest back in the box as well. So, we'll give that a shuffle. Hopefully we don't get back-to-back -back dire enemies, but if we do, so be it. So you're going to take your horde deck and put it right on top of the uh, epic foe. So with that all set up, we're going to go ahead and um, set up the capital city and the outer regions. So your capital city will always be your center card. So we'll put that down right in the middle. The outer regions, they have two sides. And the sides, the difference between the two sides are the regional abilities. So, for example, on side A of the forest, you can spend two actions to secure, drop one of these values down, of any outer region. Whereas on side B, you can spend the same amount, so two, but if the forest region is at a threat level of zero, you can um, secure re like lowering the threat level in the capital city. So it depends on what side that you're going to be playing with. So for today, let's just play with side A. And it, it indicated in the corner what side it is. So you can put these down at random. There is no specific order to it whatsoever. So let's shuffle these up a little bit maybe. And the first card we have is the mountain. Then we have the plains. I'll put the ruins, let's put the ruins up here. The desert, you can put down here. We have the coast and the forest. Let's make a little room here. There. So this is your regional layout. Your characters will come out of the capital city and move around and defend and secure, uh, so on and so forth. Just want to make sure that everything is visible. Okay. So, the next thing that we need to do, we need to pick our characters. So you won't be able to see... Uh, my characters while playing because I just don't have enough room. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select a character. Let me get the character deck. So 
So that's our character deck, and I'm just going to give that a quick shuffle too. So today we are playing with Omdog? Omdog. I'm not sure. We're gonna just call him Om. Uh, he's an orc barbarian. And if we flip it over. His special ability, they call it Berserker. So, when your defender card is drawn, you may use sacrifice multiple times as long as you have enough health. So your sacrifice health indicator. Um, after sacrificing, however, you may not end your turn in a capital city. So if your indicator starts to get low, you can come into the capital city and replenish your um your hearts or your health so in this case if you're using multiple um health um you can't end your turn in the capital city to replenish so you would have to wait a whole other turn to go back in and second character is Randall. <laughs> Everybody else has got a weird name except for this guy. So he's a halfling bard and his special ability is to befriend. Meaning on your turn you may use the ability of adjacent regions because remember, every region has a different ability. Um, and defenders in the same region as you. So if Umtak and I are, and Randall are in the same region, he can borrow. Um, but you still have to use that as an action. So you only get three actions um, per round turn unless uh, I think unless the region is destroyed or you have no health I can't remember but it'll say it on the defender card so those are the two characters that we'll be playing with I'm going to assign um, Untakti blue and they both start in the capital city and then Randall will be red. So I'm going to give them full health. And the last thing that we do before we start playing is put in our threat tokens at the zero marker for every region including the capital. And voila. So we're all set up, we're ready to go. And uh, let's start playing. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn our deck and reveal which areas of the regions will be affected first. So the first card that we have, we have one hit in the forest. So we'll bring up our marker to one. The second hit in the plains. So we bring that up to 
I'm going to flip again. The second card revealed one hit in the desert and one hit in the mountains. Our third card reveals one hit in the ruins and another one in the plains. So as you can see, it can get messy pretty quickly simply because there are two areas or two regions that are affected on the same card and they don't always differ so we have two planes um, so far uh, but it can get very messy very quickly so let's see what else we have all right so now we know that we're not going to be um, affected by any enemies anymore um, so now it is the defender's turn, so the all defender cards means if you're playing multiple players, such as what I'm doing now, you can divide between the two um, players three actions. Um, in this case, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move each player out into the other regions. So for example, we're going to take our friend Umtak here. We'll put him in the planes for one action. And I'm going to take Randall and put him in the mountains for our second action. And as our third action, I will um, secure the planes. And that's it for now. A next card reveals the red defender card, so only the red defender can move now. So the red defender gets three moves. So for now, I will do one. And move him up to the ruins for two, and drop the ruins down to zero. I think that's, I think that's all we can do right now. I don't know why I'm going this way, <laughs> it just feels right. Our next card is the second all defender card, so now we can split again between the two. And... I will drop that marker down to zero for one, move for two, and drop that down for three. Because then we can move, because I know the last card is going to be the blue defender because we haven't seen it yet. And I can move him into the forest and secure the forest. The last card is the blue defender. And I will move the blue defender over to the forest for one, drop it down for two, and there's nothing else to do on the board right now. So I think we're just gonna have to burn that turn. So here's where it gets really interesting. We are now going to pick a card from our horde deck without looking at it. And we're going to shuffle it into our turn deck. So basically everything that we just saw that was pulled will be pulled again. And it will also introduce a new element, which will always be bad because face it, they're all enemies, and let's hope that the defender cards have been equally distributed in our deck, 
so that they're not all piled onto each other and we can defend and move around more regions. So let's have a look at what what pleasures await us. Okay, so the first card we get is a blue defender and that really sucks because <laughs> we don't have much to do but I know that there are multiple planes in the deck so we might just move Boomtok into uh, the plane so let's do that so one and two there's nothing to do in the planes but for now we'll just end it there because I want to defend the planes as much as I can for now. So let's see what our second card is. Oh no. <laughs> Another all defender. Okay. Um, not off to a good start. I mean, there's not much we can do on the board. I'm going to one, and I think two, I'm going to put Randall in the meditation circle. In the event that the mountains come up as our enemy, um, he can move out of the circle and defend it without losing a heart. So we'll keep him there for now, and I think that's all we can actually do for this one. So the first area that is affected is the desert, so we'll move that up. And the second one is uh, the mountain. So we have the mountain, and we'll bring up the mountain for one. Now, I'm a little unclear because Considering it's not actually Randall's turn to defend, but he is in the mountains, it does say that the mountain's ability, if you're resting in the circle and meditating in the circle, when the mountains are attacked, I can move out of that circle and defend without losing a heart or a health count. But it says that I need to spend one action to do so. But it's not my turn, so I can't, I don't think I can actually move out of the mountain to defend it. Um, you know what? Let's just say that I did defend the mountain. Because it's very, for me it's unclear. So I'm going to drop Randall's health down to three. So we have our first dire enemy. All right, so the dire enemy in this case, the symbol that is associated with it is the forest, which means the forest gets hit. But in order to defend this dire enemy, I need to spend three health tokens. There is nobody in the forest right now. We cannot defend against the Minotaur, so it just gets... Um, a threat level increase. Alright. The next place that gets hit is the ruins. And the second, the plains. So, because um, our orc friend, Mutak, is sitting in the plains, I'm going to lower his count, his health count, to three in order to defend the plains. So I don't have to move the threat level up. We have another mountain. Um, I'm going to let the mountain get hit because I know we'll be able to secure that later on because we haven't seen 
a lot of the defenders come out. I think only half of them have come out right now, so that's great. And the second place are the planes. I'm going to let it get hit, but we'll take care of it after. Okay, we have the red defender now. So, for one action, we will secure it. Um, and I'm going to move him to the ruins for two and secure for three. I think that's good. I could put him in the capital, but I think it's a little too soon to start replenishing. Maybe if we get down to like a two count, then we can start replenishing, but I think it might be a little too soon. And the last card for this round is an all defender card. So I will go one for now. I'm going to want to keep one of our defenders close to the forest so that we can start defeating the Minotaur because we're going to, because he's going to come back. Our next lovely task is selecting another card from the Horde deck and give that another good shuffle. a little bit into the third round. Um, so far we've seen the Minotaur pass, I've gotten Utah back into uh, the uh, capital city to replenish his health, and I absolutely uh, forgot to record um, everything I was doing. So we're back now, <laughs> and uh, we're going to move forward. So the next area that is going to be attacked are the ruins and the plains. Randall is currently sitting in the plains, so maybe we will defend it by sacrificing one of our health and not moving up the marker. The next card is the desert and the mountains. Not much we can do there. And the last card is the Red Defender, so Randall. So we'll go back to Randall. Let's see what we can do. I think we should go into the desert for one, two, and three. And we'll sit there for now. So as always, we'll pick up another deck. Sorry, we'll pick up another card from our horde deck. You know what? I'll move this over here. There we go. And we have a couple more in our horde deck before we get to our epic foe. And let's make sure we once again Properly shuffle these, hoping that not all of the defenders appear at once. All right. All right. So our first card is an all defender card. What we'll do is I think we'll take Randall out for one, two, and then come up to the ruins for three. I think that makes sense so far. Alright. The next card is the 
the forest and the coast. So the coast is now coming into play. I think that's the first time we see the coast. All right. The next card we have the desert. Randall's in the desert, but Randall is kind of starting to get low on He's starting to get a little bit low on his health, so I think we're going to let it get hit, considering it was at zero. And the other one, the mountains. <laughs> and of course, in comes the Minotaur, and nobody's in the forest. I really should keep somebody in the forest. If we defend the Minotaur, um... We are then able to pick up an artifact. We haven't done that yet, so let's keep that in mind. But the forest gets hit. The next card is another one for the mountains and one for the plains. The next one we have... Oof the forest again. That's getting dangerous. <laughs> and another one for the desert. I'm going to take the hit on the desert. So now we should see all of our defender cards. Here we go. So, like I said, I think I want um, to be set up in this general area. So, I will do one two, and three. I think it'll set me up for uh, next round because I think the rest are going to be defender cards anyways, so. Alright, we have the red defender. So we could do a couple things here. I could drop it all down to zero for three actions right off the hop. Or I can drop it down by two, move into the mountains, but I think I'll let um, to take care of the mountains, and maybe we'll keep Randall in the forest. So, one, two, and three. So now the forest is completely secure. We have the blue defender. So, one, two, and three. At some point, I'm gonna have to get Randall back into the capital city. And I might do that on the next turn, simply because he doesn't have enough health to battle the Minotaur in the forest. So I'm going to keep, I think that's going to be the next plan, because I'm pretty sure, oh, I was wrong. That's okay. <laughs> so the ruins and the plains get hit. I was almost sure, I was almost sure that was going to be another um, all defender card, but with all of the interruptions, I totally lost it. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> so we'll grab our turn deck, grab our another card from the horde deck. We're really getting close to the epic foe now. Make sure these cards are nice and shuffled once again. does not have enough health, the forest gets hit. Oh. Okay, let's get Randall out of there. We'll get him into the capital city to replenish all of his health, so maybe we'll one, two, and three. I don't think you can move this way. I think you actually have to go like that. Let's see. Okay. So we've taken 
taking care of that. I'm going to move the health marker up on Randall. Um, and that ends his turn. Next card. So we've got a hit on the forest. You know what? Sorry, in the mountains. Uh, our friendly orc barbarian is in the forest. Sorry, the mountains. So we're going to decrease his... We're going to sacrifice one of his health, and we are going to leave it defended. And we have another hit on the plains. I'm hoping that a defender card comes into play very soon, because I know that there are quite a few playing cards in that deck. And I realize we haven't really used any of the uh, abilities of the regions um, as of yet. So I think we're going to, now that things are starting to pick up a little bit more, I think that we're going to start using those abilities. All right. Oh, we have a new dire enemy. So we have a, a wraith. And if I cannot defeat the wraith, it says that the defender with the most health loses two. That's not good. <laughs> so Randall currently has the most health. We will drop him down to two. But considering he'll be starting his turn in the capital city, it's not a big deal. The next card we have. Oh, pardon me. The uh, because we pulled the wraith and the wraith is identified to be in the ruins, we were not able to defend. The ruins go up by one. So the next card is a ruins card. So that goes up by another one, and ah. The planes get hit again. So, this section here, this region here, is no longer available to us to use as abilities. And, as another consequence, the capital threat marker goes up by one. So now it's going to get messy. And here's our all defenders. So, let's take this opportunity to replenish Randall's health. Let's get him out of the capital city for one, two, and three. I know there's going to be more ruins coming up. We really need to start focusing up here as well. So I think that takes care of the all defenders move. Let's take a look at the next card. So the desert gets hit, and the mountains get hit. I'm going to take the hit on the mountains because I really want to keep Randall's health in check. Um, that takes care of that. The next session is the forest. having trouble with one of my lights, so you might hear some clicking in the background. Okay, so we have the blue defender now. Let's go one, two, and three, just to kind of secure this area here so we can move around. Another all defenders. Let's get Randall in the forest for one, secure this area two, move him over, and three, secure that area a bit more. And the last card for this round, we have the forest. I mean, let's just take the hit and ooh, the desert. Okay, so the last one. Before we reveal our epic foe, and again, 
we're gonna make sure to not drop the cards. Make sure that everything's nice and shuffled. Okay. Well, let's go with this round. So the first card we have is an all defender, which is great. I think what we'll do is one and two and three because we know that desert's going to come back up. And there it is. So I'm thankful that I did that. So the first area, let's take the hit because we know that Minotaur is coming and the desert. Or rather, let's take another hit. On our sacrifice, we'll sacrifice ourselves. And maybe. So the desert's ability is if I choose to sacrifice myself. In a um, on my health, I can take a look at the top three um, cards in our turnover deck to see what's there, and then arrange it in the order that I want it to be in. So you know what? We're going to sacrifice one. He's down to one now. we got to get back into the capital city to replenish. And let's take a look at the top three of the deck. So, I have the top three here. Let's flip them over. Ah, oh, the Minotaur is next. So let's just get him out of the way, and then we'll leave these two as they are. Yeah. So now that we see that, let's play the Minotaur. I don't think I should have done that, actually. <laughs> it wasn't even my turn. Well. Okay. We learned from our mistakes. Let's move forward. So the Minotaur's there. Randall is there. Randall's at full health. Dropping him down to one. We've defended against the Minotaur. Randall now gets a lovely artifact. So, well, let's pick up an artifact. Let's see what we get. And we've got the Timeless Hourglass. So when your Defender card is drawn, instead of taking your turn, you may place your card into the bottom of the deck. When it is drawn again, you gain an additional action. So, this now sits with Randall. And let us equip Randall with his little artifact. Just snaps right on. And there we go. So let's move on to the next card. So we know there's going to be two enemy cards. So the first are the mountains. And the second are the plains. But because the plains have been hit already, the capital gets hit. So, the next card we have, the desert gets hit. <laughs> now, our friend here only has one more life left until he can no longer secure defend or fight, which means we have to make a decision here. Let's hope that we can get them back into the capital so that we can replenish his life. So we will drop it down to zero to defend, and the desert does not get hit, but the mountains will get hit. So I will take it over to uh, the capital city on the next turn, hopefully. 
Ooh, we got lucky. Okay. <laughs> so let's go one, two, and three. Okay. So that's good. <laughs> Their next turn, we'll pull them out and they can go somewhere else. Alright, so we are hitting the forest by one. Randall doesn't have enough um, health either. They will drop back down to to zero, so I don't want to I don't want to affect him right away either. So we're just gonna leave it there. So we've got the forest and the second place would be the coast. All defenders, so we are going to replenish our friend Umdok and Hmm. Let us. I cannot. Um. Hmm. I, yeah, I cannot. Uh. Secure the capital, because I do not have that ability, and that's the only way that you can secure the capital is to have a special ability. So I can't do anything there. Hmm. What we could do, we're near the bottom of the deck. Maybe we can bring them back to hmm. Hmm. let's go over here. One, two, and three. Divide it between the all of the defenders. All right, so we've pulled the red defender card, and hmm, we only have a few cards left in the turn deck, so I don't think I'm gonna use his ability. I think we're just gonna move forward. And uh, maybe hope for the best. <laughs> so I think we'll just move forward and not use his ability right now. Which means they have a few turns. So let's go one, two, and three. We'll put them back in the capital city so that they can replenish on their health. So we just have a regular enemy, then this time the coast gets hit, and the desert gets hit. And the very last card is the Wraith. And nobody is there to defend, therefore that goes up. And because Umtak has the most uh, health, they are dropped down to two. Which isn't that great because now we were going to reshuffle our horde deck, or our turn deck rather, and instead of, oh boy, <laughs> instead of adding to it, so now we get to reveal our big foe. So let's see what we got. So we get a a hill giant and we have 10 hits that we have to uh, meet. And the hill giant lives in the plains so the plains are going to have that card attached. I'm just going to take a closer look. So the ability for the hill giant is towering. A defender must spend one action to climb onto the hill giant before they can fight. If dip defenders jump off, which is a free action, or get knocked off, they lose one heart and land in the hill giant's region. Ooh. 
So, as you can see on this card, there are little faces indicating an additional extra ability that we need to look out for. So, when the token, when the marker hits those areas, knock all defenders off the hill giant and move the hill giant clockwise one outer region. So, the hill giant now gets attached to the planes. I'll just put it here. And I will also get the marker for the hill giant. So the first place that gets hit is the forest and the desert. The desert is becoming very unstable. It is unstable, not very <laughs> becoming. It is unstable. So we need to get there. So the next card that we have is our Minotaur, which means that the forest gets hit there's nobody there to defend, and so the force goes up. The next card is an all defender card. Perfect. So immediately let's give Randall full health, and I mean, we should go into the planes, right? So. So let's get Randall into the planes for one, and two, to fight as an action, so we will drop that, so one, two, to fight, and three. So I'm stuck on the hill giant until the next turn. So I have to stay there. Um, and that's all we can do right now. However, however, I just realized something. We can have four actions. Because this region is destroyed, we get an additional action. So I'm going to come off, well, I will fight again, but I will come off the next turn before we get into this dangerous area. Okay, so the next place uh, is the mountain, uh, and... I'm not really paying attention to the defender's abilities here, so let's... Hmm. That doesn't apply. Moondog has two health right now. Maybe what I'll do is... I will defend them. <laughs> no, let's take the hit in the mountains. And the planes are hit again, so that means the capital goes up. And the next card is the coast. Oh boy. So the coast is now destroyed. The play um the second piece on this card is the desert, but considering that the coast was destroyed before we can get to the desert, this no longer applies, but we are going to put that card on the coast to hide the abilities because we can no longer use them, which means the capital also goes up by one. 
Oh no. I think we're gonna lose. <laughs> That's okay. It's all in fun. Well, let's look at the next one. Oh boy. <laughs> and the forest is now destroyed. <laughs> Which means our friend, the capital, gets another hit. And we cover the forest's ability. And the next one. Okay. We've got all defenders. So we're going to use all four. We are going to get off the giant. And... For one, two, three, and four. Hopefully, we haven't seen the Minotaur, we haven't seen the Wraith yet, so we have to be careful of that as well. Okay. So. Hmm. It is the blue defender's turn. He's in the mountains. And we really need to get him back to health. Hmm. So, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I guess one, two, three. We'll replenish their health. Actually, because we have four turns, I'm gonna do... So, one, two, and three, and four. I think that's... I think that's good enough. Well, I mean, we're getting our butts kicked, but nonetheless, let's do that. The next card is the Red Defender. So, we have four turns, and one, two, three, and four. We may have to take a hit there, but we'll see. We really need to get them down. I have a lot of health for Randall, so I think that's okay for now. And then the the next card is the Wraith, the Wraith, and let's, the, the Wraith's ability here is again dropping the, um, the health count of the defender that has the most, but because they're tied right now, we will drop it back, we will drop Um Talk down to two because we, we will be leaving the capital city at some point and we'll be able to replenish their health. And this means that the ruins now also gets one. And the last card is the desert by one and the mountains by one. So now that we have nothing else to um, add to our turn deck, we shuffle, and again, hope for the best. I really need to stop dropping these cards. <laughs> okay. Oops. And again. Um, so the way that this um, ends is obviously if we defeat our hill giant, bringing the token all the way down to the skull, or if the capital city is completely destroyed. So we're three moves away <laughs> from the capital city being completely destroyed. Alright, let's see. Our first card is an alt defender card. Fantastic. Um, hmm. I definitely want to go for the giant. So 
so we will do that. So we're going to drop the giant down. Hmm. I'm going to jump off of the hill giant, which is a free action, but I lose one health. And hmm. but because we are now because we are now in this area here, I have to move the giant down into the next region. So, um, I'm now going to, I think I have two more left, so I'm going to move the chocolate out, and for four, I think, I think I did that right. Too many interruptions. Um, we'll put them in the mountains and drop that down. All right, so the forest got hit, and so does the desert. And the red defender's turn now. I think I'm going to actually use his ability and take his red card and put it at the bottom of the deck and skip his turn so that I can get an additional action. Because, I mean, what do I have to lose now? <laughs> Let's see. Alright. The desert and the mountains. The mountains I will defend so I will sacrifice. And now the wraith, nobody's there. We're both equally at the same amount of health. So um dog will go down by two and the runes get hit. Minotaur is <laughs> nobody is there to defend. The capital goes up by one and all defenders. Okay. I don't see us winning. <laughs> But let's finish it off. So let's go one, two, three, and four. But I lose a life because I jumped off. Um, that's it for that one. And the next place are the mountains. And the planes get hit. Which means game over. So the capital has been overrun by enemies. We were not able to defend. Anyhow. So I've lost my third game. That's quite alright. <laughs> it happens. I really like playing this game. A lot of strategy. I do often forget about using the special abilities on the region cards, so I have to pay more attention to that, but again, it's a fun game. I like playing it solo. Um, I haven't played it with anybody yet, but I really like the strategy behind it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that some of you fell asleep a while ago. For those of you still paying attention, thank you so much for playing with me today. And um, thanks for watching.